and they'll have non-priority. They'll be able to kind of move around the lineup. They just can't get in the way of John or Cade Matson. Outside of it, number 11 in the world. And going to live, just Jake up and down. Nothing to lose there, being the non-priority heat. To look for a better looking wave. Here comes Liam O'Brien in the heat with Marshall. Nice first snap to get things going down the line. Nice jam on the oncoming section. Clean form, cool rhythm for the Australian. I think um, Cade's ride was a little bit more intense. It was a little bit hollower. But just to mention, um, John was able to combo it up. Like, both of them were in the cleanest exits, um, but um, Cade's wave a little bit hollower. So a little bit more intense for Cade. And just beautiful surfing right here for um, Lob. Just always perfect timing, great style, effortless. Some of the best turns coming out of Burley Heads. Nancy Callahan, a lot of great standouts that Liam is really proud of. Going into a backhand reverse attempt. That's a good wave goal. The other one's going to take advantage of it. So you, less priority, might as well try and find some room and, yeah, be by yourself. Little running left for O'Brien. He goes down swinging. Just got stuck off the top there. And recover, get more backing put himself on tours. Nothing short of incredible. Watching Liam O'Brien up and out. Being smart. Catching waves and Jake up and Ryan. Jake, little whip off the top. Second turn into clear water. Nice punch there on the end section for a three-turn combination for the Californian. Have to go, Strider. How so, about this one? I'm just so fired up right now. This turn right here, money just perfectly placed that board uh, on that second turn. You know, like we talked about it with the, the conditions getting lower tide. It's really hard to find that perfect position with the board and the lip. And he just, you know, to me, that was well done. Uh, really beautiful surfing uh, and clean. You know, Kurt, maybe a wrap would have been good. I mean, he does, you know, he could stack up a couple scores here. It's not too late. Marshall looking for a section to work with. He's just left chasing as he steps off. You know, knowing that he uh, might have to have a little Iron Chef moment with right? Yali. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, Jake was so happy about <laughs> what he had last night for dinner as we see him whipping through three turns now. Maybe a little bonus. That thing gutters out on the inside, but his back ends so smooth so powerful get automatic scores and you know what i think it's very impressive from him he has a, a kind of a paste that he keeps throughout the whole turn usually and here he's accelerating every turn he's doing it like a little bit more of like energies next wave now set up for jake marshall going for a similar type of move hey we've seen that rodeo flip pulled off here by matt wilkinson kelly would probably tell us how to do that uh, turn better than I would. Pretty rare to see it perform. Jordy did one in the Mento Eyes a few years back. That was considered the best air at the time. And Jesse Mendez. Oh, hey, Jesse. Against me, he did one. He, was that the heat you were in? <laughs> no, in Portugal. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Got a good view of that. Backside float. Wow. Big fin drift into reverse for Marshall and will tap it shut. Incomplete on the final turn. Exactly what, you know, the you have to do to keep the judge's attention right there. Bang, uh, throwing the tail around so clean. So great work from Marshall. I'm, I'm Easier, so you can get in a good rhythm just by catching waves and getting clean water. Cade pulls in for a moment, but the thing shut down really quickly, forcing him to straighten out. He well barreled this morning at Super Tubos. John moves on to surf again today in the round of 16. And looking very onshore, offshore, mobile sites. And he's found some rhythm out here, making three finals in the past. Backhand is still fire from Jake Marshall as he can pull off everything. He'll celebrate that finishing move. But more important scores coming through on the priority side of this heat was. I, I love it. I mean, buckets out the back, just super smooth flow through the wave. Having a lot of energy down the line. The confidence uh, coming out of it, you could see he liked it. Um, you know, finding the, the vertical part of the wave to work with. You know, these waves are starting to cup out. They're really wedgy. And, you know, for you to whip that turn up there into that section, it's, it's really technical and fast. And that board... The battle continues here in the priority heat as well. Marshall throwing the tail high. Reverse attempt. 
goes away from him, but still has the lead over Liam O'Brien with 9.20 to go. 5 4 7 6 5. Jordy has a 6 3 3. O'Brien in the priority heat. Clean backhand whip off the top into a lot of foam on the face. Redirects for a two turn combo and steps off. He's chasing a 7 5 was. Surface of the water, but uh, you know, he had one clean section right here, but it didn't give him the opportunity to drive out of his turn. So, you know, that gave him kind of that back seat coming into the second turn, which there wasn't a lot of flow. You know, that's what, and you're looking for that out of a turn. You're looking for some speed. To Trying to look for waves that he can't really. Let's see if in the last three minutes he can find something. Little wedge popping up, packing it and sliding out is Liam O'Brien. Unable to get enough speed to get the exit. Now he's down to three minutes on the clock. Not on the rail, but also the, the wave was just very crumbly and just a lot of water moving. Did better this way. Pops out the other end. Liam O'Brien had one chance, slid out, got to repeat the backside two riding effort. Let's have another look once. Yeah, grabbed, uh, learned off that first one where he, he disengaged the fans there. He kept them connected. Um, if he could have come out of that with a little more speed into that section, there could have been a, a bigger score coming at him, but that one slowed him down. It kind of compressed him off the end, so it didn't let him out fast. And you see him maybe having an opportunity here. Little wedge popping up for O'Brien, looking for a big ramp, big full rotation. Unfortunately, couldn't bring it down. Came unstuck. Standing by for those last couple of numbers on the screen for Jake and Liam O'Brien. Liam with this, or Jake with the 667 and the 583 is able to take the lead and hold on to it.